A new doubles team for 2008 has seen the Czech Republic's Martin Dam and Pavel Visner reunited for the first time in 10 years. They played together in 1996 and 97, and that year reached the Wimbledon semi-finals. It hasn't taken long for this veteran team to find their spark again and surpass their results from the 90s, with a title win in Marseille and a final in Dubai this year. That puts them at third in the Stanford ATP doubles race. The pair are considered elder statesmen. Dam is 35 with 37 doubles titles to his name, and Visner is 37 with 16 career doubles titles. Dam joined the ranks of Grand Slam champions in 2006, teaming up with Leander Pays to win the US Open title and finishing individually in the top 10 of the Stanford ATP doubles rankings for the first time. 2007 was a stellar year for Visner, winning Stuttgart and Costa de Suipe, and his first career ATP Masters Series shield in Montreal with Mahesh Bhupati. He also teamed up with compatriot Lucas Delui to reach Grand Slam finals at Roland Garros and the US Open. Following the pair's final appearance in Dubai, ATP Tennis caught up with the Czechs and asked what their goals were for 2008. Well, obviously, uh, the main goal is, uh, you know, to stay um, on the top because uh, we just started to play uh, this year together after a long time. and. Uh, I played with Leander Pais last year and we, we've made finals and uh, Pavel uh, played with uh, Lukáš Lohi, they also made it to the ATP finals, so I think that's the main goal for us. Yeah, yeah I'm just a little bit nervous about if I'm getting grey hair like Martin, but uh, I hopefully stay my brown. You know. Yeah, I think that we both uh, prefer, you know, faster surfaces, so grass court, uh, grass court would be probably our favourite. I think it was a good change. It, it really attracted uh, more people to watch doubles, so the singles guys can play a little bit more. And uh, also we have a chance to play on centre court because the matches are not that uh, long. So we can play before the singles finals, let's say, and you know the people are getting slowly to the stadium for the singles finals, but they are still able to watch some good doubles. So I think it was a definitely good move.